The GTX 1660 Ti has been rumored for the past 6 or so months, and although we've gotten quite a few leaks regarding specs and memory configuration, we really haven't gotten much in terms of performance and where this card sits when compared to other past cards. Now, at this point it seems pretty obvious that the GTX 1660 Ti is real and will be coming, as we saw these sort of leaks right before Nvidia unveiled the RTX 2060. To me at least, it's now not a question of if, but when. So if we're going to be getting a new mid-range GPU, what can we expect from it and how much will we be getting for our money? Okay, so the first thing that I think is important to mention is that this card won't have any tensor cores or other DXRT capable hardware. So if you're looking to buy a cheaper RTX style card, sorry to say, but this isn't the card you're expecting. So then, what developments have surfaced regarding the GTX 1660 Ti? Well, we actually got a Final Fantasy 15 benchmark leak to us, as well as Amazon putting up some preemptive listings for different partner card flavors and systems. What we do know now is that at 1440p high settings, the GTX 1660 Ti was able to beat out the GTX 1070, and performs about on par with the Titan X Maxwell and subsequently the GTX 980 Ti. While we don't have a hard spec list straight from Nvidia, if these numbers from the Final Fantasy benchmark transfer to different titles, it's pretty hard to deny that we'd have a 1070 killer on our hands, especially at the leaked price of $279.99. From what we currently have to work with, this card seems to basically just be an RTX 2060 with the DXRT features just completely stripped out. And while that definitely isn't bad, especially since leak rasterization performance is nearly identical between these two cards, the big downside of the card is that AMD is starting to prove that they're able to catch up in the GPU space. Like I previously mentioned, we don't have a complete and fully detailed spec list, so for all we know, this card could have some further downside that we aren't aware of. Furthermore, Amazon recently listed different iBuy power systems featuring the 1660 Ti, which were either quickly removed or hidden until release. While it's exciting to finally be getting a new mid-range option from Nvidia, I'm kind of skeptical about certain aspects of the card. For only about $70 less, you're losing a feature that can future-proof this card. While sure, ray tracing isn't really important to many consumers, including me, I can see that having the ability to run this feature in the future might come in handy as more games with the XRT capabilities are released. At the moment though, I'm curious to see what Nvidia brings. From what we do know, this card seems to be the GTX 1070 killer, which for its leaked price point is exciting and hard not to get behind. But on the same token, these are still leaks and could very well be off. We got similar leaks before the release of the RTX 2060, and although they were pretty spot on looking at the relative performance, they also weren't right when looking at the price and weren't right when looking at the specs. So that's why I mostly trust the performance figures that were leaked, but not really the spec lists. But also keep in mind that this was just one game. Just because the 1660 Ti performs well in Final Fantasy doesn't mean that the performance will transfer to other games. While it's exciting to get a new card and a successor to the GTX 1060, I'm personally more interested just to see how this all turns out. Even if the leaked performance figures were in fact slightly off, I still think that it will be a great value card. We really just have to wait and see, but as of now I'm very optimistic and intrigued. So thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and click the bell icon so you'll be notified about all our future uploads. And also, tell us, what do you think about the GTX 1660 Ti? Do you think that the leaked performance figures are accurate, and will you be looking into this card in the future? I personally am kind of interested, and might be picking one up if this does become true. We really can't wait to see what you guys have to say, and I hope you all have a fantastic day. So thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.